Hi, and welcome to this demonstration of Informatica Cloud Realtime's new OData provider. So, as you may be aware, um, recently Salesforce released uh, Lightning Connect as part of the Lightning offering, and what, one of the things that that enables you to do is to connect out to external data sources. Now, these could be third-party databases, could be a content system, um, but the, the important uh, caveat here that is that in order to connect to any of those data sources, the provider must uh, display that information in the OData format. Uh, so, um, you know, typically if you're connecting out to a system, whether it's a, a database or SAP, uh, you know, if you don't um, have an OData uh, service layer on top of that, then that's something that you would need to actually put in place. Um, and, you know, it can be quite tricky to, to put something like that together. Um, as it happens, Informatica Cloud Realtime provides that exact functionality out of the box. Um, so it makes it very easy to take an existing JDBC compliant data source and actually expose that data out in the OData format that Lightning Connect requires. Um, so <clears throat> that's exactly what I'm going to take you through today. Uh, so the first part of this we're going to do in terms of configuration uh, on Informatica Cloud Realtime and then we're going to come back into Salesforce and complete the uh, external object configuration. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is log into Informatica Cloud here um, and I'm going to go into the design section and go into our service and process designer. So it's this uh, interface here that we use to de uh, design and author uh, any aspect of, um, of what we're able to create with the Informatica Cloud Realtime platform. So um, that could be, you know, creation of APIs, uh, you know, REST and SOAP-based APIs. It could be also consumption of, you know, any, any SOAP or REST-based API and also any JDBC compliant database. So, you know, a lot of um, use cases above and beyond OData here uh, that would allow you to do uh, things like service orchestration, uh, build composite APIs uh, and also uh, deliver guides directly within, uh, within Salesforce. Um, and you know that these are kind of uh, business process guides end to end. So a lot of uh, you know really great functionality that's part of this offering. Uh, and I do encourage you to to take a look at our website if you would like to know more. So just go to informatica.com. Uh, but for the for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to focus in on this very specific piece of the platform, which is the OData provider. So in order to configure this, all I need to do is come into our connections section here and I'm going to just create a new connection uh, and I'm going to select the connection type as our JDBC generic cloud adapter. Now this, this allows us to, via our secure agent, which I'll explain in a minute, um, allows us to connect out to any JDBC compliant data source. Uh, and I'll go through exactly the steps to get to get this set up, um, but it'll only take a couple of minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is give uh, give it a name here. So I'm going to call it JDBC DB uh, and I'm going to select which agent this actually needs to run on. Now the secure agent, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail on this. Um, there's a definitely other demos where you can see this explained in more detail, but suffice to say that the agent is uh, a self-managed executable that you download and install the first time that you use Informatica Cloud and you install it inside your company network and basically that agent once it's up and running will communicate with Informatica Cloud uh, and it'll do it over HTTPS and that uh, is exactly how we're able to connect to on-premise data sources. So if this is you know, any data source that we have um, a, a connector for, and we have a very uh, broad set of connectors on our connector library in the marketplace. Um, so this allows us to connect off to databases, uh, SAP, Oracle, um, and also even cloud applications uh, and on-premise applications uh, as well. So um, definitely do take a look at that. Um, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to select that um, individual agent, which I've already got running. It's running on the same uh, server as my uh, MySQL instance, which we're going to be connecting to. Uh, and the next thing that you'll see here is the ability to select this option, OData enabled, which I'm going to set to yes. And that is really all I need to do in order to make this JDBC connection OData enabled. 
So by default, all OData connections are actually secured. So I need to specify the username of a, a user that I have uh, already set up in Informatica Cloud, which you do through the uh, administer users section. Um, and I'm going to just configure the uh, connection parameters here. Now, uh, you know, obviously yours will look a little bit different when you're connecting, uh, depending on what data source you're connecting to. And the other important thing to note here is that uh, this this uh, cloud adapter allows us to connect to whichever JDBC driver you actually have in place. So if you don't already have your database uh, enabled with a JDBC driver, you just need to log on to uh, the website for the, the, the vendor that provides your database. And typically they'll provide you with uh, a JDBC driver. Uh, in this case, I just downloaded it from the MySQL um, website. And that actually, the documentation for that will usually include the connection string that you need to use here. So I got that from the documentation um, and all I need to do now is just specify a few more parameters, uh, one of which is the directory that it installs to. This is the default directory for, for this driver. And also then I just need to um, specify the username and password uh, for my database. And that, that's really it. So I can run a quick test here. That has actually used the agent to connect out to MySQL and has verified that we've got an active connector, connection, which is great. So the next step is to just save this and hit publish. Now when I hit publish, what it's actually doing is reading the, the tables within the database. And if I switch to the metadata tab here and expand one of these out, you can see that we've got the name of the table uh, and we've got the name of all the different fields and a preview of the data, a couple of rows of data there as well. So what this means is that um, this metadata is actually stored by Informatica Cloud Realtime and it means that whenever we're designing a process, let's say it's an API uh, or a, you know, a, I'm doing some sort of service orchestration or a guide, um, I can connect and use this database um, as if it was you know, completely native to, to my design time environment. So I see all the fields available to me and I can interact with it, you know, with it without needing to worry about any of the underlying uh, connectivity. So that's all published out. That's all I needed to do. And that means that our uh, service is now available to be consumed. Now I've got the, the connection string for that here. You can find this in our documentation. Um, and Basically, it, it allows you to uh, specify the version of the OData um, format that you actually want. We support version 2.0 and also 4.0 as well. Um, so you can collect, for example, to version 4. Um, in this case, for external objects, we're actually going to use version 2, uh, which actually gives, um, gives us back an atom feed. Um, and you'll, you'll see why we need that later. So. Uh, so that's everything configured on the Informatica side. Now let's take a look at Salesforce. So the first thing that you need to do is in the setup menu, just go to, uh, just type ext and you get to these two components. Um, and the first thing you need to do is set up the external data source. So I just click new on this uh, and I'm going to call, give it a label, label of SAP because that's, that's where the data came from. Uh, my type is going to be Lightning Connect OData 2.0 and when I select that it's going to give me a number of different parameters to configure. The first is going to be the URL um, which by the way ends with the name of the connection and I, one thing I'll just show you I've got the connection name but if I wanted to go down and have a look at a specific table so an object within this feed I can just put that in the URL uh, and I get back the results. So what you're seeing here is a, um, a, you know, really a feed of the different uh, tables that are actually available. And this is what uh, Salesforce is going to use to read our database. So I've put in the URL there. I'm not going to go through these uh, connection parameters here um, because that's all covered in the help section if you want to know a bit more about what they do. Um, the only one to note is that uh, if I'm consuming version uh, 2.0 here of the um, uh, of the OData connector, then I need to make sure that I'm consuming this as an Atom um, 
in the uh, Atom format. Uh, obviously, if you're connecting via version 4, uh, then you may uh, just switch to JSON here. So, um, what I want to do here, the final step, is to actually configure the authent authentication. So, you need to just select named principal here, because I've got a predefined uh, user in ICS that we're going to connect via. So, I just put pass password authentication here, and I'm going to, going to configure my um, username and password. So that's it. All I need to do now is hit save. And you'll notice once I've done that, that I've got this validate and sync button. So let's click that. And this is going to connect in real time out to that service. And it's going to read the feed. So at this point, I have the ability to say, well, which, which um, items within that feed am I interested in synchronizing? I just want the accounts at this stage, so I'm just going to select accounts and sync. And that's going to create me an external object automatically uh, based on this data source that's been described. So you'll see that appear at the bottom here. And if I go into that section, uh, I've got a full breakdown of the account of the uh, account fields, all broken out by the correct data types, and that's all you know uh, introspected via the uh, the OData uh, service itself. So um, the last step here is I just want to create a tab to make sure that this is uh, visible to everybody. So I create a custom object tab. I'm going to select accounts here. And I uh, well, always find it difficult choosing the right icon, but let's, uh, let's pick a building here. Um, and I click next on that. I'm going to leave the defaults in place, make it available for everybody. And so you'll see I've got this new tab here called Accounts. So if I go into that now and just hit Go, it's not going to look that great because we haven't configured the default views. But you'll see here I've already got all that data coming in from the OData provider. So if we just make neaten this up a little bit, um, so I'm going to put my external ID, my name, oh, so name, name, state, uh, country, city, my mouse is going a little bit crazy here, right that'll do, um, so I just want to make sure we've got those in a sensible order. And we can remove this uh, display URL as well. Okay, so street, city, country, name, and we just put the name a bit higher as well. Okay, um, I think we're pretty much there. Do forgive me that this uh, the mouse is going a little bit off uh, off center here. So um, I'm just going to save that. And hopefully our view should look a little bit more palatable now. Yep, okay, so you can see all the data that's come in. And if I click into any one of these records, um, you can see all the attributes. Now, obviously, you can you know, hit Edit Layout if you want to um, you know, move these things around, um, put them in the right places, and so on. Um, but... That basically is is it. So we've now got this uh, data coming in from uh, MySQL, and it's appearing inside Salesforce. There are some specific uh, um, uh, constraints with using external objects, uh, so definitely do take a look at the uh, the help information because that will just explain you know what you are able to do with them in terms of. Uh, you know, using them within the existing Salesforce data model and so on. One thing to bear in mind is that. Um, you know, a lot of the time when you're actually interacting with this type of data, uh, it may need to be part of an end-to-end -end process. Um, so external objects are great, um, but if you need it to be part of this end-to-end -end process where there's multiple systems you may be connecting out to, or you need to actually have, uh, you know, somebody with inside Salesforce act on this information, do definitely take a look at Informatica Cloud Real-Time um, because you know, we're, we're able to do a lot more than just provide the OData source. 
uh, you know, you can put the end-to-end -end guides together uh, that, that allow the user to go through this in a wizard-based uh, user interface or also on a mobile device, uh, which can be enabled as part of Salesforce One as well. So uh, definitely do check that out. You can find more information on our website, informatica.com. Thanks very much.